There are books, a movie, pages of awards and accolades covering a career of fighting hate crimes and winning. That's the story of civil rights attorney Morris Dees. He was born Morris Seligman Dees Jr. on December 16, 1936 in Shorter, Alabama. The oldest of five children, Dee's parents were tenant farmers who also operated a cotton gin. They urged him to enroll at the University of Alabama, where he earned both his undergraduate and law degrees. But it was also there that he witnessed classmate Authorine Lucy, the first African-American to attend the University of Alabama, harassed by the members of the Ku Klux Klan. This and reading Clarence Darrow's autobiography would change his view on life and guide his activism. Morris Dees, co-founder and chief trial counsel for the Southern Poverty Law Center, has been on the front lines of challenging hate groups in the United States for almost 50 years. After college, he started his own law firm and co-founded one of the most successful marketing and publishing firms in the South. He won a series of groundbreaking civil rights cases that helped integrate government and public institutions. In 1971, he, along with his law partner, Joseph J. Levine Jr., and civil rights activist Julian Bond, Dees founded the Southern Poverty Law Center, formed to combat hate, intolerance, and discrimination through education and litigation. While at the SPLC, Dees worked on a strategy of filing civil suits against hate groups, claiming damages for the violence incited by these groups. One high-profile case where he applied this strategy was the 1981 lynching of Michael Donald, a crime committed by three Klan members. With the assistance of Dees and the SPLC, Donald's mother was awarded a $7 million settlement from the United Klans of America, bankrupting the group. Known for his innovative lawsuits that crippled some of America's most notorious white supremacist hate groups, he has received more than 20 honorary degrees and numerous awards. He was named one of the 100 most influential lawyers in America by the National Law Journal, Trial Lawyer of the Year, the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Award, and the Salem Award for Human Rights and Social Justice. In addition, the University of Alabama Law School and the New York law firm Skadden Arps jointly created the annual Morris Dees Justice Award to honor a lawyer devoted to public service work. Dees has written three books, A Season for Justice, his autobiography, Hate on Trial, The Case Against America's Most Dangerous Neo-Nazi, and Gathering Storm, and the made-for-TV movie, Line of Fire, about his landmark legal victories against the Ku Klux Klan. Dees and the Southern Poverty Law Center continue to be the most active organization challenging hate groups in the United States, a task that has proved even more crucial with the increased visibility of white supremacists. I'm Micah Greenstein, a Memphis rabbi whose sister-in-law Lisa and Morris's daughter Ellie were so close, they held each other in the pantry of the Dees' home while Morris Dees fended off Klansmen on his property. Our Montgomery families have been intertwined for over 40 years. I am pleased to join in honoring civil rights attorney Morris Dees, a most deserving recipient of the Freedom Award for his longstanding fight against hate groups in America.